Greetings. This is a piece called A Festival of Misery and Waste. I thought I'd cheer you up. It's by A.L. Kennedy and abridged with apologies by me. So here it comes again, Christmas. Season of cultural insecurity, financial strain and family tensions. I'm always puzzled when people react to the savage perils of Christmas with variations on a theme of wounded surprise. As far as I'm concerned, Christmas is bound to be appalling. It is, after all, the celebration of a woman giving birth without anaesthetic in a draughty cave surrounded by donkey poo. And her husband wasn't the father, so you can imagine he'd be really helpful with the hot water and towels. Although he was a chippy, so he'd have had some string, but not clean string. And then it's Bethlehem, it's small, it's provincial. And there aren't any curtains, and this stonking great star has set up residence outside, so nobody's getting any sleep, even though no crying he makes. And then these weird strangers turn up. Three posh blokes and a group of shepherds who bring lambs. I mean, that's all you need, isn't it? More unhouse trained livestock. Plus, the flock watchers are probably freaked out and completely panicked and babbling. You know, yeah, there was this light and, 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 and singing and, and this flock of angels. And, and what of angels? A host of angels? That doesn't sound right. Well, OK, a host of angels. Anyway, they're talking about love and peace and, and be not afraid. But except they're using these great booming voices. So, of course, we're afraid. Some of the sheep even passed out. Yeah, I mean, we're in a right state still. Angels dropping in and monkeying with your life is not what you expect, is it? Anyway, how's the baby? Not crying. That's a blessing, isn't it? And those three kings, of course, they bring along the world's first rubbish Christmas presents. Each one weighted with religious significance. Frankincense. Well, it would make the cave smell nicer, I suppose, but it's mainly got religious associations. It can also be chewed, like gum, possibly implying that Jesus would be something in religion, or a gum-chewing slacker, or possibly a scented candle maker. In any case, nothing practical like a carpenter. And then myrrh, that's used in funeral rites. <laughs> well, prescient, I suppose. They could have brought a coffin wrapped up in tinsel. But, I don't know, space, considerations of that would have ruled things out. And there's only so much that you can load up on a camel, is there? And then there's gold. You know, a great big sparkly casket of gold that will ensure you'll be burgled, if not mugged, while you huddle knackered and unarmed in your vile and quite possibly front doorless shelter. Now, does any of that suggest that Christmas would be a stress-free annual celebration for more than 2,000 years? I don't think so. <laughs>